Back in the 50s, there was a TV program entitled The $100,000 Question. Answer a lot of questions and you can get $100,000. And that's back when $100,000 was really worth something. There was one contestant by the name of Charles Van Doren. He was a, an expert on pre-Columbian art. And he answered all of these questions. And they discovered that there were just thousands and thousands and stretching into millions of viewers. And so they said, in order to keep the viewers watching, we'll just help you with the answers. And so they would tell him, not the direct answer, but they would tell him, you might want to go to the library and read on this particular area, in this particular area. And then they did begin to tell him the answers, and he progressed toward $100,000. Someone who was not chosen as a contestant told what was taking place, that he was being fed the answers, and there was a great uproar over it and congressional hearings. And they called Charles Van Doren before Congress. And then there was that inevitable question, why? Why did you do that? He said it was the lure of the money. And then he said something else. He said, I thought the rules were written for everyone but for me. He said, I thought I could get by with it. My dear friends, the rules are for all of us. They're for you and they are for me. We might get by for a while, but eventually it catches up with us. and We have to pay the price. But the thing about it is that if we will let him, Jesus has paid the price for us. We simply have to turn in repentance from sin toward him and realize that the rules apply to me. But Jesus has said, I have borne your sorrow, your shame, and I have borne your sins. Come to me. And from here on, let's walk along together. Jesus will do that. Thanks for watching today's Minute Message. Don Howell.